Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. Well, we just had the State Fair last month, and here to talk to us about something special that happened there is Ms. Kimberly Smith, and she is with Hilton Head Island High School. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. So I understand that there were some accolades that you received at the fair. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, well, all four of our teachers here entered the fair, and we came home with a total of 12 awards, including one for myself. <laughs> well, good, good for you. Congratulations. That's, that's a quite impressive number. So what award is it that you won? Um, I got first place in um, digital art professional category. Okay, and what did you submit? It's actually a Photoshop portrait I painted of my daughter, my youngest daughter. It's okay. abstract, very... Um, broken sort of thing, but it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like it, and it's a kind of a fun way to honor your daughter. I'm sure she was pleased that you won first place with that. Yeah, they always, they give me a bad time because my family is a subject of a lot of my art. <laughs> <laughs> well, what better, like another one? I mean, that's the, that's the best subject there is, right? So tell I us, think so. Yeah, so when you found out the news that you were uh, first place, how did you feel about that? Honestly, I was a bit shook. I was, <laughs> I was a little bit in shock. I've entered um, competitions throughout the years off and on, mostly as a token. I asked the students to enter, so I feel like I should enter. Right. And um, first time I've ever won first place. So I kind of sat there for a half a second in shock and was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Was it really me? That's great. Right. Was, how did your student, did you, have, did you have some students enter things this year and how did they feel about your winning? Yeah, we d I did. Um, four of my students took awards. I had a, um, one of my students took first place in the photography, which is they don't have digital art category in student okay. art, so it was just photography. So he got first place, and a couple, three others um, received an honorable mention. But yeah, we kind of all did the same collective, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but you don't usually go into competitions expecting to win. Right. So. It was a good. It was a good surprise. And yeah, absolutely. And so, your student that got first place, how did he feel about that? Was he really excited? He was. He's a senior now. Um, we have to enter them under the grade that they were when they made the work, and this was work from last spring. And he was like, "Wait, which piece did you enter? Which piece is it? Really? <laughs> Are you sure?" And it was a lot of him going, "Oh, <laughs> like, well, that's cool." <laughs> yeah. Very. Very cool. Yeah, he just he wasn't um, he wasn't thrilled with the piece at the time, even though I told him it was a good piece, and so it just kind of validated what you learned right. in class. Yeah, T teacher did actually know best in this case, right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of like, are you sure this is decent? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and so what would you say for both you and the students was kind of the best part? What is the best thing that you have taken away from this experience? Um, well, a lot of it is I teach digital art and media art, and a lot of it is just validating that it's not just video game art or whatnot, that it actually can be considered right. gallery quality, you know, visual studio art. And um, also this, the first year the South Carolina Fair added digital art category to mm -hmm. the professional field. So it's really kind of up and coming the same way photography struggled as a media in the beginning. So we had a lot of discussions about like, wow, it actually is accepted in the art world and there's more places I could use this art. I think that's really fascinating. So congratulations to both you and your students. Thank you so much for being mm -hmm. here today to share about your experience. And um, we're so happy for all of you. Thanks. Nice talking to you. We want to thank all of our guests for making us just a little bit smarter over the last 30 minutes, and we especially want to thank you for joining us on the WHHI Daily News. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes. I'm Bob Stevens.